Hey Virgo, how are you? We're doing a reading for you today, Virgo, and Virgo placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Thank you for joining. It's me, Spy. Thanks for spying with me. Okay, I'm getting smile. So someone wants you to smile, okay? Like smile. <laughs> Somebody could be telling you this or maybe somebody will smile at you in public okay this is a side note i do see that someone wants you to smile or there's a need to smile okay let's see who's coming toward virgo right meow that's what we're reading today again thanks for spying with me Ooh. I feel like you keep getting this energy and you're reading the divine intervention here. Okay. I do feel like you are being cock blocked by the universe or this person is with you specifically about you. Something is being cock blocked. All right. There's some type of karma that's coming into this universe is saying not so fast. Okay. And it's affecting your situation. It's affecting this person clearly. This is someone who is very concerned. Sure, maybe they are very stressed. There's anxiety, depression, panic attacks, things like this. It may not be that severe, but associated with the situation, they have an energy of angst and feeling a little stressed about it. Okay, this is someone who's not completely satisfied right now. You guys are being cock blocked, all right? That's what it is. So you have grass is greener and anxiety. So a lot of concerns about why things, things are not working, okay? Let's see, Virgo. Where's Virgo in this energy? Social media, ooh, are you spying? snake secretly secretly okay so you're having a wake-up call here in in your life in general but it feels related to this person okay you're gonna have like a aha moment a realization there's something to be learned from this right now like there's a lesson here so, I feel like you are secretly spying on someone with this snake and social media. And even tarot readings is a form of spying, right? You get, you get me? You get me. So, it says online dating or reminiscing networking. Okay. Are you online dating? I feel like you're kind of watching someone online here strong temptation you may realize someone is not who you thought they were by the way let's see the situation please show me the sitch crossroads okay that's why um <laughs> okay let me see one more on the crossroads we have the fighting energy. All right. You guys can't decide right now is what it appears. Yeah. Okay. I'm not surprised that this came out. There's a lack of a decision happening. And you guys are seeing things quite differently here, which is why the toxic card popped up. It's not to say that your situation is toxic with this person, although it could be. It's more so telling me that you guys have a choice to make and you guys are disagreeing on what that choice is or what to choose. So it's more so that you and this person, because of the cock block of the universe, is, you know, letting it go. This is what's being chosen. Because of an inability to choose or choose the same thing, decide on the same thing, come together and want the same thing or do the same thing, okay? Shake hands like, yes, this is an agreement. This is more so like, well, I'm just going to let it slide then, okay? Because we do have the surrender energy. I'm 
going to let this go. So some of you guys could be getting into online dating here in the coming period. We have secret crush on the bottom. Yeah, maybe you like someone. Okay. Where am I putting this? Here, I'll put it there. So show me this person in Virgo's reading, please. So they are spying too. Okay, just know you're being watched here. This is someone who's keeping tabs, trying to figure things out. They're looking at what would make them happy. So remember this card right here says unhappy, right? And this is about happiness. This is someone who's like, look, okay, I need to know how to make me happy, the situation happy. They're looking at options here. They're quite curious, gaining information. What else with this spy card? What's going on with this spy card? The Queen of Wands. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing this as someone who's quite at a loss right now. So we go from the eight to the nine. This may be a Pisces for some of you. Or a fire sign. They are at a loss right now. They're on a quest to find happiness, what that means, what that even looks like. This is what they're very concerned about right now. And they're changing. This is someone who's reimagining themselves, Virgo. They are in the process of like becoming a new person. I'm seeing someone wearing like a new suit, but like a, a person, like like as if someone puts on a new person, you know, like they jump into a new way of being. That's what this looks like. This person is reimagining what their life is, who they are in that life. And it feels like a manifestation. So because they're at a loss right now with your sitch, this is them trying to figure out how to find fulfillment. We're going to see what's going to happen here, of course. But I just feel like this is someone who's like, okay, um, there's nothing I can do. That's what they're saying. There's nothing I can do. So this is someone who is feeling like since there's nothing that they can do hands on regarding this situation, whether it's because they don't feel like it'll make a difference or because they're just not in control, then they decide to focus on what they can control which is they themselves and their future. So that's what this looks. Show me Virgo in this vibe. Your Hierophant. Are you in a relationship? So the death and rebirth. Hmm. There's something that you're learning right now that's also changing you. Hmm. It's associated with this person. So you have Scorpio energy, Taurus energy. It's like you're changing what is important to you. Hmm. Let me see here. All right, what's popping out? Yeah, see? Moon card, wow. Okay. First and foremost, and like I said, okay, so this is a little bit of a difficult energy, but this is being cock-blocked by the universe. And I see that you are trying to find peace with that right now. There's something about you trying to understand, is this what it's supposed to be? Am I supposed to be with this person? Am I supposed to be devoted to this person? Am I still supposed to have this feeling for this person? 
there's something about that that you are considering and contemplating quite a bit here. And you're wondering why it's difficult. So let's see here for Virgo, please. See the Ten of Cups? Look at that. Knight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Two of Cups. Yeah. Okay. The Two of Swords. You guys are feeling both at a loss here. I feel like you see this person as someone that you can spend your life with or you have felt this way before. You have a strong attraction here. It's between you two. You guys are attracted to one another, to the situation. I just see that you are starting to feel like, what's the point? When you're moving into a space of not caring, okay? So even if you've been feeling kind of sad or down about the situation, sooner rather than later, you're going to feel what's the point, okay? That's what you're moving into. So what's going to happen between Virgo and this person? in the next two weeks okay so the magician there's a manifestation coming in if you're manifesting this if this person is manifesting this this is a desire to get the situation together okay and working together so someone is directly trying to make this happen in the next two weeks i don't know what just popped i wish i did the Eight of Swords, uh-huh. I see. Seven of Pentacles. Something else is coming into focus. Like I said, someone is seeking what's making them happy. Like people are growing. I feel that this part is mutual. Like people are meant to like come into their own I'm hearing creature okay coming into their own sense of self in the next two weeks maybe that's what universe wants you to do here it's like being focused on strongly what else mm -hmm. okay and the temperance i see so in the coming two weeks there's going to be um not the most fulfilling energies of making this work together. Like there is more so an imbalance of effort, an imbalance of cooperation, okay? Because someone feels they are not able and not willing or one of those to cooperate. And so this is more so like, let me leave that idea behind. So in the next two weeks, it's more so about balance, okay? People coming into balance. What else? Hangman. Okay. You have a tower energy. What is this tower, please? More universe popping in. Okay, yeah. This makes sense. Someone's sense of self, independence here, is coming in very strongly, okay? You will be losing confidence in this situation in the next two weeks or this person is, but what I'm seeing is it's necessary to reassess the self, the sense of self and the ability for independence here. Some of you financially, but just more so in a way that you can be comfortable moving forward. I don't see that this is completely over. This is just in the next two weeks. There's some sort of a shift so that people can be more independent, come into their own being. Like I told you, it's right here as well. Especially you, Virgo, there's an energy of you 
assessing your value, your worth, what you have to offer and what's being offered back to you, you're not getting exactly what you need and what you want here. So there's a focus of this coming in for you to see, are you being fulfilled? Why or why, why not? Okay, that's what's going to be coming in. It's like, I don't need someone to tell me that I'm valuable because I, I am, okay? Like someone could be questioning the value of the situation, of the other partner, or whatever this is. Finances are coming in as well. Mm -hmm. There's an inner conflict here. I feel both of you may be sensing this. There's someone who's like trudging ahead, feeling like I need to go here. I need to go, go, go. Um, something is not working. And so I need to go. This could be a focus on uh, someone's profession here with the five of wands. I'm seeing also physical activity is being picked back up here or it's somehow being suggested. So like, I don't know if this is exercise or something like that. That's being suggested here. Sports. Okay. So let's see Virgo in the next two weeks. Virgo in. Okay, what's going on? Wow. Okay, Virgo in the next two weeks. You and this person. I mean you. Okay, wow. The devil card and the hermit. That's you. All right. Hermit, Hermit the Crabs. This is my, my Virgo energy. Hello. Okay. Doing a lot of reflecting, aren't you? Like I said, I do feel this situation is causing both people. It's like a catalyst for both people to reassess their own value, their own worth, what they offer, and making some tweaks. This person feels very stuck in whatever area of life. And it's causing a blockage with you guys, with that Eight of Swords we saw. So that's the source of unhappiness. Something is immovable between you guys. And there needs to be some form of an adjustment. What else? More of your energy. Okay, the Ten of Wands. Next two weeks, Virgo, I feel like you're kind of kicking yourself here, getting down on yourself a little bit. Like, it's almost like you could be being offered to go places, to do new things, and you just don't really want to. You're more so in like an energy of apathy, like nothing's fun. It's not fun. I'm like feeling like every everything is lame or everybody around me is lame. There's definitely this coming in. What else? You're wondering why you feel such an attraction to something that's difficult or someone that is. Here we go. This is getting, okay, good. I love it. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. I'm glad this came in. So it's like, gosh, this is such a, an energy, you know? Not, not a cool energy, but <laughs> sometimes it's necessary. So, uh, one second. Okay. There's a shift coming into your feelings, thankfully, where you're not happy with whatever's coming your way, suddenly you will be, okay? Some of you are meeting someone new. There may be a new love, a new heartthrob. I'm getting heartthrob. This could be a Sagittarius, maybe a Leo for some of you, or this is just someone that you bond very well with, even if it's not romantic. There's a Capricorn or a Cancer or a Virgo or someone else who's putting you in kind of like a precarious situation or this person is causing a little bit of a difficulty in your day-to-day -day life where you're like, well, I have no options anymore. I don't know what to do. Okay. And you're wondering why you are still where you are, why you are stuck where you're stuck or why you're staying there. You're finding a solution. Okay.
okay? You will find a solution. It could mean that you need to, yeah, see, it's perspective. You may need to apply your energy in a different way. You got to try something different than what you're doing. Because this is saying here that you're doing the same thing. Or you're still in the same energy. And you want something or someone that's not satisfying you. Okay? Like your needs are not met. Let me see here about this Ace of Cups. King of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, Death card again. Seven of Pentacles. So Taurus, Taurus Moon, Scorpio Energy, Ace of Pentacles. So you're going to really love what you're doing in the coming period. If you're trying to like make more money, I see a big shift here. Like you're going to actually get really invested. You're going to feel very strongly about this idea that you're, the seed that you're planting, this idea that you have, yeah, that you're investing in. Okay, it's going to open up more opportunity for you. You're going to be visible to more people or to the world here. This is what you're stepping into. I see that you're focusing on this and it's going to bring you a lot of passion and success and happiness. It may take a little bit of time like some things do. I see that you're still contemplating how to solve something, how to fix something. Okay, but Spirit's like sending you down a secure path right now. If you are dealing with a Taurus, Taurus moon, or a Scorpio person, there's still a lot of like um, sluggish energy. So delays, I would say. Okay. But like I said, you have like this new inspiration coming in. You're going to be feeling like, okay, I can do this. I have this skill that I can exhibit. I have this energy. There's something about you shifting your perspective right now. Like if you, you could be focused on the wrong thing or just something that's keeping you like, for example, if you keep thinking about something that's not working out, it's like taking up all your brain space. Okay. It's taking up all your RAM, your disk space space to be thinking about something that you can actually create and i feel like this is what spirit's guiding you toward uh like i said you may run into a sagittarius here okay this person is going to inspire you maybe you're inspired by a sagittarius or a sagittarius is inspiring you but i see this energy taking over you you're going to be feeling like oh okay there actually are possibilities out there there actually are things i can do okay period. Thank you very much, Virgo. Feel free to check previous future reads for more or different information. Friends, family members, neighbors, corkers, beeping zombie, beeping sounding on the street, check replacements too, so we know what everybody's up to. Kisses. Bye-bye.